Good day, my friends. We are going to go over some fun stuff that's been happening since my last video. So I've got some clips for you to tell you what's been going on, and it started right after Easter. Right now, today is April 22nd, so I've been dealing with this issue for now, I guess, a couple of weeks, right? Um, so what's been going on is um, I have been staying still in the desert boondocking because it is the safest place for me to be at right now than at an RV park because I do consider myself a high-risk person and I do not want to put myself in that kind of situation even if I could get in. Um, but I prefer to be away from people for just a little bit longer. I know more of the um, states are going to start to open up, which is good news. And a neighboring state that I'll be going to here real soon, I've been told a lot of the counties are starting to open up and they will be allowing dispersed camping as long as you follow all the guidelines of staying, you know, um, I believe it's 50 yards apart in, uh, with camping and then also when you're around people to stay six feet apart. I believe that's what the regulations were saying. Um, but they still don't want people camped or clustered up all together at that particular place that I'm going to, okay, real, real soon here. But in the meantime, while everything is in the shutdown, and stay-at-home orders. They're not wanting people to travel, so I've been doing everything that's been required of me <laughs> to not be rolling on the road. I had started to battle a horrible pack rat infestation where I've been at. I've been on the road for going on four years this August, and I have never had to deal with such a horrible issue. I might get one, you know, that I have to battle, but not, not a lot, okay? So let's just put it that way. So you're going to see some clips of me um, taking my dog house off and trying to just to see what the damage is because I can hear it going on and now I need to see what's going on because I could actually see it also with a flashlight. But before we do that, I don't think I explained what a dog house is, but let me show you real quickly. Okay, for those of you that don't um, have a van, vans have part of an engine inside the vehicle okay um, so that is what this is this is a dog house and a, the actual compartment um, that goes over part of the engine so the engine is part in the front of the van and then the other part of the engine is right in between the seats here just a little bit um, that kind of sticks out a little bit from the dash. Okay, so you can see that the other part of the engine is in the front, okay? And so vans, unfortunately, is a favorite for a lot of pack rats. It is like a magnet for them because the part that goes deeper inside you know, into the van, that part in there, is basically like a little cave for them. So it, they just love vans and makes it so much harder to battle them and to get rid of them. And they can do damage so quickly. It really is awful. So the first part of this video is going to be talking um, or exploring and taking off the doghouse and trying to find out what the damage is, okay? The next part of the video, uh, at towards the end, I'm going to go over, I call it the myth busters, um, trying to put the test, do lights work, do peppermint work, and all the things that I've tried as a deterrent um, to help either, you know, total deterrent or um, even just to 
reduce the mount okay so i'm going to go over that as we go on with this video and my journey with battling the pack rats good day my friends it is monday and it is april the 13th uh, the day after easter <laughs> I'm going to use my GoPro for this because I have to get into some really tight areas and I'm hoping to be able to share this journey with you all. I am dealing with a huge pack rat issue that has uh, made its home in my um, dash area and it's been pulling the... Um, Heat shield is what I think it is. I don't know until I actually get the doghouse off, but I believe it's the heat shield uh, protection that is in around the doghouse area and up in and around the, uh, uh, the dash area. So that's what I'm thinking. I can see it pulling it all down from the engine part of it. Um, as I look inside and I've seen it and oh my gosh I've been trying to catch it but it's a very tight area up in there so we're gonna see what I can do how I'm gonna battle this where I'm at um, yeah so anyway so I'm gonna show you we're gonna take the doghouse off okay so basically to get the doghouse off I'm gonna have to unclip uh, the clip so there's a clip on this side and on the other side and then there's um, a couple bolts I believe there's either one on each side or there might be two uh, but I'll figure it out but I'm gonna have to pull the carpet back as I try to pull this doghouse off uh, yeah and see what's going on all right I found the right socket <laughs> um, I'm trying to get it off it's starting to get windy, unfortunately, so now I'm getting concerned if I'm going to get this done in time. But I'm doing the best I can. Um, my body's not very fast in doing things, but i got to try because, you know, when I'm traveling, and by myself, I won't have anybody. All right, I'm trying to get to this bolt over here. I hope you can see. But the wind is really picking up, so I really need to hurry. Okay, this one here I'm going to do inside here because of the wind. It's getting really strong out there. So I gotta try to yeah, keep that carpet back and uh, try to get this done. I'm just afraid that the wind's going to grab my door, the driver's side door, grab it and um, pull it backwards and uh, break the hinge. Yeah, so anyways. So this is the last screw. And I think I got it in there, yeah. I think so. It's kind of a really awkward position to get in and and around my driver's seat. And I can't push the driver's seat back. <laughs> I hope this is coming out because of my Dometic behind the seat. Um, but the other seat, um, passenger seat, was definitely way easier to deal with. All right, so let me see if I got it. Yep, I can get it with my hand now. All right, okay, so that frees everything up. Let me see if I can show you. All right, so that, see, that frees that up. And then this bracket thing, we'll have to be careful not to lose those, but see how it catches over here? And then you just lock it down. So I don't wanna lose these, <laughs> that's for sure. I'll put those with the screw. And then I'll get this unbolted and uh, see what we got going on here. Yeah, I'll get this other one off. Okay, I'll come back. Okay, what I'm trying to do is push the carpet 
underneath it. I had to keep tucking and pushing because when everybody has um, taken this doghouse off, they literally have just pushed the carpet, you know, and I don't know, even when they put it back, they've always left the carpet hanging out around it. So I'm going to hope that when I put it back, I'll tuck it all underneath and do it the right way. I just think a lot of people in mechanics, they're always in a hurry and they don't ever do anything right. <laughs> you know, not the way that I guess an owner would. All right, so I got it pushed out. Let's see, uh, yeah. So I'm not sure how I even can get it out of here though. I might have to turn, I might have to turn this chair is what I'm thinking. Um, I'll turn it the other direction and maybe I can get the doghouse turned more in between here. All right, so let me try that. Yeah, so I swiveled the chair and see, so now I can hopefully, let's see if I can get the doghouse turned more. Or maybe it's just gonna only get pulled back. Yeah, look at what it's doing. Oh my goodness, so that's the sheet that it's been pulling down. Ooh, look at right there. Oh my gosh. Well, I got to get around on the other side. You guys are getting a better look at this than me at this point. Wow. All right, let me see if I can get in that dr driver's seat and see what it's done. Oh my goodness. Well, so this is what it's done. Um, it's basically destroyed this heat shield. Can you see what it's done? I'm hoping I get better pictures. I mean, it is just... Oh my God. This is bad. <laughs> really bad. Um, the doghouse in here is okay and it's still salvageable but I don't even know how I can honestly fix this now oh my gosh well I'm gonna have Kent come and look at it so what I discovered is the material that they destroyed could have been more of a sound barrier so it's not very thick as you can see um, it does have a very thin type of insulation and then you've just got this kind of reflectic type material here, but that's also very thin. So because it's only about maybe 10 inches of that area that goes in and around the dash area, um, not too worried about it at this point, but I'm doing everything I can at this point to protect the doghouse cover area and insulation. Um, just because, oh my gosh, the engine would just start to get more loud and I'd be hearing it and just a lot of issues can happen if they were to get to that. So I have taped all the edges and corners and around and uh, with uh, a Gorilla Tape and just to make sure that there isn't any kind of a corner that they can get a hold of and pull, okay? So I have done that for now and we'll just see what happens until I'm out of here soon, okay? I've got an order coming in with some stuff to get and w and then from that point I'll be working on trying to get out of here as soon as I can. Now I have to admit that this was really probably the most nerve-wracking thing that I have ever gone through in my four years of being on the road. And I have had to deal with, you know, rodents and all that before, but because it was never at this level, it was awful knowing that they were destroying my engine in there and I didn't know exactly what was going on. And even now that all of this is gone, 
are they going to go to my dog house, right? Because I'm because of protecting it and trying so hard to protect it. Um, it has been crazy and nerve wracking, I have to admit. But stay tuned for my next video because I am going to put those home type remedy deterrence to the test that people say works out there, like a light, because they don't like light, right? They're nocturnal. So I put that to test, and also peppermint, lots of peppermint everywhere, and even on the tires. So I put this, all those things to test, so stay tuned to find out whether they work or not. So I'm going to have my own version of, an, of a um, show that used to be out there called Myth Busters. Well, I'm going to put those things to a test and we're going to find out if they work or are they busted, okay, <laughs> with not working. So don't miss that next video. All right, and I will see you then. I love you all.